to go again, everybody. I know the last time you saw me, I was sitting in the same place and doing, I was actually doing the same thing I'm doing now, which is cooking. Um, it seems like this is one of the only times that I can, I don't know, get away with just like sitting down and, I don't know, I like to do something while I cook, whether it's like watch YouTube videos or, um, what else do I do? Watch YouTube videos. Sometimes listen to the radio while I cook, like talk radio. Um, so making a video makes a lot of sense too. Tonight um, I'm doing like a, I'm baking some salmon in foil in the oven. And so right now I'm making like a marinade to go, not a marinade, well maybe it is, like a base to go on top. And it's going to have like garlic. I'm crushing the garlic right now. I think crushing garlic is like so satisfying watching it like. I'm <laughs> doing that, and um, I'm going to put some dill, I just bought, you know, buy dill from the grocery store, stick a sprig of dill on each um, salmon fillet, or fillet as you would say in England, um, and some lemon juice, and that'll be it, and then I'm going to wrap both fillets up in foil and stick them in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Uh, we're going to have mashed sweet potatoes as well and broccoli. So that's dinner tonight. This is kind of a pre-weigh-in dinner. I like having fish before a weigh-in because I think it makes me feel like I've got a chance. <laughs> so what's been going on with me over the last couple weeks? Well, I will be graduating soon, which is great news. Um, I'll get to walk, be walking the stage. Uh, that's in about three or four weeks. And... Let's see, still just getting ready for the Texas wedding. Um, loads more to do. I'm so thankful for my mom because she's doing the brunt of it since she's in Texas and I'm here. Um, Dave, my husband, has some art shows coming up in London. So that's, again, in a few weeks' time. So he's quite busy at the moment getting all of his stuff sorted for that. Um, some of you have asked before like to see Dave's work and I've been a bit hesitant just because you never know what people's tastes are and sometimes what people think art is and um, and I love my husband and I don't want to protect him so <laughs> but he has no problem with me sharing so I'm gonna put a link to his new website somewhere in the here um, and maybe on the side panel as well but yeah we just got that website up and coming like a few I don't know, about a week or two ago um, so it's a fairly new website we're excited about it um, yes, his stuff is very different. I guess if you go to the website, you can read the blurb about him, and that should explain the work. So, One thing I do have to say, though, is if you go to the website, please be aware that there's some hefty language used in a lot of Dave's art, and, um, and it does definitely um, challenge a lot of... Uh, stigmas that society has, and it might make you feel uncomfortable. That's, that's the timer. Um, but yes, yeah, so just go warned that there's like, a, I'm sticking a label warning on it, like an age, an age warning, so. <laughs> and so what's going on with my weight loss? Um, it's been rocking pretty steady recently, which is okay. I feel like my clothes are feeling better again. Um, I've been maintaining pretty much, even when I've gone to my meetings. Which is okay, because I know I'm making right decisions, and I, I can tell you where a lot of the, the messing up is coming from, and that's coming from the weekends. I find weekends so difficult, because there's something about the weekend, I mean, I don't know, this is probably just like, you know, what I'm conditioned to believe, but that like, on the weekends you want to relax and have fun, and I know a few other people on here have mentioned in the past that they've struggled with the same thing, but it's... It's the alcohol, you know, it's, um, it's hard on the weekends. I do enjoy having some drinks and, you know, so even if it's just at home with Dave, I, I, I just enjoy relaxing. Um, and when I see my friends, you know, going to the pub or if someone's having a party, and I, I you know, it very well may be that that alcohol is stunting my weight loss, so... I don't know what to do about it because, again, this is a lifestyle thing. Like, I'm not going to give up drinking um, to lose weight because if I do, 
when I lose the weight, I will begin drinking again and the weight will come right back on and I know that I have to learn how to lose the weight with having, with including like, you know, wine into my diet um, or whatever it is, you know. So yeah, that's, that's one thing that I think needs to, I don't know, that could be my problem or I need to learn how to deal with. So yeah, I'm pretty much sitting um, on about 185, which is where I've been for a while. I was 172 when I came over here um, a year ago, and that's ideally where I'd like to get back to um, in the next few months. I was comfortable at 172, and um, you know, and I know I've got a ways more, but 172 is a good is a good like small goal for me at the moment to um, be aiming towards. So. Yes. Right, so back to the cooking. Um, got like a baking pan and some foil and I'm putting my two salmon fillets on the foil. And then this is a little mixture made up of minced garlic, lemon juice, and dill. And I'm getting lost in the shot here. And I'm just kind of spreading it a bit on top. Right, so I've spread that on top, and I'm um, just going to add just a smidge of, um, of butter, and it's like extra light margarine. It's got about 19 calories in 10 grams, so I'm not going to put very much in, but when I've um, done a bit with salmon before, I have used some, some butter. Um, and I sliced up some lemons, so I'm going to lay those on top as well, just like that, and like that. And now I'm going to fold up the foil. So that's it, I folded up my little salmon pouch, everything's in there. and. I'm going to stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to like mash some sweet potatoes and uh, steam my broccoli. So that would be nice. Um, so um, I'm boiling my sweet potatoes now. Um, and once they get soft, I'll just mash them up. And the great thing about sweet potatoes is that they don't need any milk or butter or anything. They are just so gorgeous just plain mashed up on their own. Right, so I have to say I, I'm i sorry if these cooking things bore anyone. Um, I just kind of started, I guess, because it was easy, it was an easy time for me to make a video and and I do struggle to kind of sit down and make videos, so this was kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of works for me. Um, but, and also I, before, I met Dave. I was a horrible cook. I had no confidence in the kitchen. And it it's just come from like, I don't know, getting tips and like practicing really. And I just um and I'm still not the world's best cook, but you know, you just pick up on different ideas and you adapt them and change them. Um so I don't know, I hope that maybe some of these videos like the tofu stir fry, um or like the salmon and, and sweet potato and broccoli thing that if that can like inspire anyone or show anyone how to do something you know I didn't know how to make mashed potatoes like I didn't have any clue and that's such a basic thing so you know if, if I can teach someone how to do something like as simple as that then that's great All right so I've just unwrapped my salmon from the foil and that's what it looks like so I'm gonna dish it up on the plates now in there. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later.